Yeah, I think everybody's everybody's uh, you get a new coaching staff. Everybody's kind of on the outside, kind of like not sure if it's going to be the same. Not sure if it's going to be the same or it's going to be different. So I mean, everybody's still kind of getting used to everybody, and then um, going to the issue, we're all more comfortable with each other, and uh, I think everybody's just really bought into the program. How do you feel the relationship with the running backs? I mean, those guys are like best friends. I mean, it's uh, with them and like with the rest of the team. Like everybody knows that those are our, those are some of our biggest playmakers on our team. And I mean, everybody's really excited to have them uh, have them on our team. Everybody's really excited to um, see what they can do this year. It was a bit of a revelation because everybody who follows the recruiting knows that Maryland got what was at that time rated a top guy from Virginia, a dual threat quarterback, and now you see that you're actually doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, What's been the change in your game that allowed you to start to reach that potential we heard about when you were in high school? Uh, I think it was really just like growing up a little bit and like maturing from high school to college. Like making that change was the biggest part for me. I mean, it's really, I mean, it's true when people say you're the biggest fish where you're at and then you kind of get thrown in this bigger pond and now everybody's a big fish. I mean, just like growing up and kind of learning a system and figuring stuff out for myself. I mean, that was probably the biggest change that I've seen in my game. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. <laughs> Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. There were times in that spring game where it looked like you knew where everybody was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So you make your delivery really quick. How long does it take to get that feel that when you walk up there, you know what the play is going to be before uh, it happens? Well, I mean, especially with the new offense, it, it took a little bit, uh, a little bit of time at first, but I mean. All summer, I mean, we've had like our player run practices, and we've been, you know, watching film, going to the playbooks. I mean, I mean, when you go up to you go up to the line, I mean, you kind of figure it out as soon as you look at the defense. As soon as everything gets set, or even sometimes before everybody gets set, or based off what the play is, I mean, it, it, it depends on the play. But I mean, it's got everything's picked up a lot, a lot more, uh, more for us. And it was ever. So you think that growth is going to continue? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I still have four more years. I'm still young. I think. Uh, I think I have a lot of football ahead of me that's going to be good. Is that number, you're 13, right? Yeah. Does that number mean anything to you? No, so I mean, uh, when I, I wore 12 in high school and then I got to college and Tavon Jacobs last year, he had it, he's a six year guy and I respected him a lot and I was like, I would, I would never push to like, I want my number. I mean, I'll take whatever number I get. I mean, I just want to play, I just play football. I mean, I really don't care. You give me 17s, I don't, it doesn't matter. Are right, you more a Fortnite guy or a Madden guy? So I actually don't play either of those games. Really? I play Apex Legends. It's okay. like it's like a battle royale game, but that's my game. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for being a turp. Always, yeah. Thank you.